Good morning, Flo. Hey, how are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. How was your weekend? No, it was good. Um, just lockdown, home vibes. So yeah. Um. So let's start uh, with our usual um, Monday morning uh, ritual. I think it's good to look at uh, our Trello board to see where you are with the work. Um, I think the big assignment that you're working on is uh, the account list that you're working on together with SoSo. And yes. uh, how is that going? Do you have any questions um, for me? Do you have anything that you struggle with? My name is Adrian Guaza. I'm a former Innovation Hub student. I've graduated from Innovation Hub this year in 2021. Beautiful. Throughout the course, we actually got an, another opportunity with a company from Netherlands. It's called Co-Marketers. And it was so amazing. Like, this journey was so life-changing to a point where I just told myself from now on, the direction is up. There's no going back. Um, so today we also, we're speaking a little bit about Adrian. Um, and, and also wanting just to get to know more of him. Yeah, so Adrian, I met him in the first traineeship we did uh, last year in uh, October. So he's now in my team, in the marketing operations team. And um, what he's doing is really um, working on skills that they've developed during the traineeship, but also really try to sort of constantly develop and add skills to, um, to their portfolios. So it, it's been super excited to have him in the team and see him develop from, from a trainee now as a, a real employee of uh, co-marketers. I've always been a happy child. My parents raised me very well and that, that's just a blessing on its own and that also motivates me in terms of the person who I am today. And my family is everything to me. Like, even throughout the traineeship, I don't know how I would have made it without their support. It was... It was... I just thank God that this... Adrian is a good young man. He usually spends most of the time at home here. Yeah? Ever since uh, Adrian finished school. He didn't give me a problem, no. I don't have a problem with my boy. He understands a lot if we talk to him. He like, he, 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 he like he speaks even like a drawing. Sometimes you find out he's be on his own, he just do whatever, he's quiet, and then if he's satisfied about it, he'll come to me and say, look at this. No, I'll be surprised, say, oh, is, is, is that what, he say, yeah, that's what I'm, is that you? I'll be saying, is that you who's doing this? He said, yes. He said, yo. From a background where we come from, where, where you finish high school or your studies, finding a job is one of those difficult things, and I was just believing in God and praying to God that whatever path I take, may it be fruitful, may it be, may it be the path that will make me happy at the end of the day. And I feel like God really, really has answered my prayers. Working for an international company has actually been life-changing to a point where what, what will I learn? What experience would I get from this? And what will I use this experience for? Am I actually going to start my own company and then employ other young, other young people who 
who aspire to be like me. I think it's the dreams. He has got his own dreams. I think that's the kind of thing he's got. He's got, those, he's got his own dreams. And he's thinking, you know, he wants to go high. Hmm. I'm very, very proud of him. Ah, he's my dream. Nothing else. I love my boy so much. Hmm. I feel like young people can really change South Africa. This has always been the vision I've always had before even actually applying for Innovation Hub. But then again, Innovation Hub was like the path. That was like the first, first step. Now the, the road has just been, it's very, very clear, it's very, very visible now to a point where I can achieve anything.